Hi, I'm Rachel Stancliffe from Oxen Technology. Today we're diving into our month-long series of tips and advice on business continuity and disaster recovery planning. Our tip for today is listing your assets and assessing your risks. One of the first steps in planning for disasters and emergencies is understanding your assets. You should be inventorying what you have and understanding the dependencies between all the different elements of your infrastructure. An asset inventory will include all of your IT items such as hardware, software, services and applications and how these items relate to each other. But it will also include other assets, things at your physical locations, specialized equipment and so on. Another initial step in beginning your disaster planning is understanding the risks and types of disasters that could affect your business and all of your assets. Think through all the potential disasters or events that might happen such as natural disasters, accidents, and malicious attacks. List out as many of these as you can think of and maybe try ranking them by how likely each event is and then how impactful it might be if it did happen. Think through how each of these scenarios would impact your business procedures and your physical locations. You may determine that one scenario, like a ransomware attack, is unlikely to happen, but if it were to happen, it would be very impactful and you should probably probably include it in your disaster planning. Or you might see that manufacturing delays or supply chain disruptions will have a high impact on your bottom line, but only after a significant amount of time. You can then pinpoint the types of scenarios that are likely to result in this long-term supply chain disruption, like a global pandemic, and plan for those scenarios. There are also other types of risk assessments that can be helpful to you. Maybe you're regularly audited and you can work off of those results to get started. Or if you've had penetration tests or vulnerability scans on your network, those types of assessments will show you where you can improve and what you need to take into account. It's easier to make an effective, useful BCDR plan if you know what you're faced with first. So know your risks and know your assets. Thank you for joining us for this first BCDR tip. Next time we'll be discussing understanding your critical processes. If you have any questions or comments for Oxen Technology, please leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.